Hello and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Pop Pop. This time we're at the resource thrift store. And I hope you enjoy doing the tour with me vicarious. So this location has been reviewed previously. It's on Upper Gauge near the link in the southern portion of Hamilton on top of the escarpment. They have, the, the group has, uh, the resource, have a number of stores across Ontario. So they have been to more than one. They have somewhat of a selection of furniture, fairly decent. Uh, then you get into all sorts of uh, bits of glass, vases, cups and saucers, table lamps, yeah, just about everything. And we've got a nice display along here of, of some of the knickknacks, display pieces. We do have some artwork, um, primarily prints. Why this uh, collection of winter coats is here is probably that they wanted to fill the space because they didn't have a tall item to go there anymore. The section we're into now has to see a little bit of their hardware tools as well as bits and pieces. They, they group the cables up nicely and so on. So you've got a mixture of hardware in from various different disciplines. From plumbing to electrical to some automotive to gardening. So it's a bit of this, bit of that. Depends on what they received from their donations. So there's a sound bar there, there's a, an interesting poster. Yeah, that was an LED um, spotlight. All sorts of items. Sometimes there's more, sometimes there's less. These are sporting goods for the shoes footwear for the sporting goods, a bit of the knitting and crafting, there's uh, some health supplies here as well as the vases. And then we'll get into some other personal small goods, like curling iron and such. Glassware and ceramics are in this aisle. Clothing and the Clothing's off to the right. But here's the other, another view of the furniture. There was somebody in the aisle, so I didn't review that one this time. Nothing critical that was missed. But you get an idea of what kind of things they have. These are all the plastics and stuff, and those are, if I remember right, they were behind me. There is uh, like sheets and linens, aluminum pan, ceramic, little pot, a couple of wheelchairs, some other health uh, devices. They may have been women's clothes. Uh, here's the dream big sign. Somehow it ended up here. Sound bar and a TV, which some people use as a monitor. It's not as high a resolution as monitor, but in many cases that's not so critical. You just want to see a nice big image. So, and some, that's a hair dryer there. The drill. Oh, that was a drill, not a hairdryer. Huh. Sorry about that. Had to circle around, it seems. The belts there. More of the shoes. The shoes we, I think we saw from the other side already. This side has uh, purses and clutches and similar. Mm -hmm.
there's a lot of the uh, volunteers there. Or in the Dutch heritage. You can hear it in some of their accents. So. So they're, they're providing, I think it was they're trying to collect some additional funds for, for a particular private school group. Yes, they even have some winter footwear. Golf hats and fishing hats there. I'm noticing that there are fewer and fewer shoes nowadays, primarily because the shoes don't survive when they get them inexpensively from overseas. And I'm referring to the east, not the west. Far east, rather than Europe. And here we get back to these again. This is the other side. These are women's tops. And all of this whole area is the women's tops. After you get through all the clothes, you can end up at the uh, front where they've got some, I guess what they consider more, slightly more valuable. They have some vintage items here. They've been on the smaller side and or higher value. They have some vintage clothes there. They didn't focus on them, unfortunately. The uh, staff were right behind there. But I'd have to edit out a lot. What was the point? Uh, so, so, well, here we are. We are getting into some of the vintage clothes. Not necessarily extremely old. They're just a little bit older. But they seem to think that they have a higher value. And they're priced as such. Whole collection of older dolls. More back to the furniture, and we get to see the artwork area. So they have some of these uh, paintings on black velvet, and uh, that was a thing for a while. I think that may have been a watercolor. If it wasn't, it was a nice print of a watercolor. So you see they had a couple of these. You would see these in sort of some homes. Not everyone had them. Some of them were had the Elvis image. This one chose not to do Elvis, but they did a, a Spanish theme with the bullfight. So sometimes they use the uh, furniture that they have up for sale to display some of these nice items they have. And here we have the uh, original splash from the beginning of the video. I think somebody broke up one of the cup, cup and saucers. So that's why there's only five. But you can do it with uh, you've got a group for four more, more commonly. It works. Or the host or hostess can have a different mug of their own. So it's not, it can work. It doesn't work for everybody, but it does work if you choose to. So there, there was another set here of some sort. I think those were the uh, enamel to wear. So more than likely it was something from a hunting fishing trip. Where they just didn't want the uh, dishes to break and they could actually handle heat and cold very easily. Have a nice display for their uh, deemed to be better jewelry, I guess. And they've got a locked cabinet there, and then behind it, you we're back to the uh, jewelry display. 
there are some things that aren't locked up, but in the main they have them locked up. Collection of belts, and more of the art there you saw. Now we're going to look at the shirts. Uh, I did find a couple of shirts there. And some, another item, I'm not sure if all of them are going to be shown here. This red one I know for sure did go with me. I probably shouldn't have, have gotten it. It has a small uh, issue of one of the seams is partially opened up. Which means that it has to be fixed if I want to sell it off. Or it gets marked down. And I just try to recover what I put in. There wasn't a huge number of them, unlike some other locations I've been to, some other stores recently. It was an interesting shirt. Didn't work for me. That's not really Hawaiian, but if you, if you want to keep your theme going and you want to take it to an office, then yeah, I'm sure it could work. I think I got this one as well. I may have put it back at this point and picked up a buggy later. hard to do the video and, and do uh, picking picking items that you want to have. So this is a t-shirt. It's not a Hawaiian shirt per se. Yes, it even has a pocket. Or maybe it's in, I was looking for one. Hollister has gotten into some of these more graphic ones, which is nice for a change. And this is, this is also quite busy. Again, it could work as a business attire. And here we have the uh, younger person's clothes. And then we're getting into more of the like backpacks for school. This is the other side of the window. And beside me here are the books. This is the denim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't. I think this was all the women's. Although if I, I may be incorrect. But probably just the women's then. And the books. Not all of them were in English. And we're gonna get into the recorded meeting. Um, so they also had some needlepoint pieces. And we have this Kodak Ready-Matic 500, and they were superseded in 1958 with Carousel. So it's one of the later ones. Um, they started in 1937 making these, and by 1958, they had gone on to something greater and better. Personally, I have a Carousel, so the uh, Straight racks uh, were also provided by other companies, but uh, Kodak's about the only one anybody ever talks about. You know, there's the Bell and Howell, and there's some other brands. The band clock of sorts. It could be on a wall. It will sound a chime if you wind the chime up. And they apparently have a key for it. Well, the wall phone with a rotary dial. Then we go into some of these uh, cups and saucers. Just reviewing what they have. Um, as you can see, they are not highly valued anymore. I'm sure somebody paid way more than $2 for each of those cups originally when they obtained them. But they're not popular, partially because you have to hand wash them because of this, the gold, the gilt on the edges and on the handle washes off in the dishwasher. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'd appreciate if you give us a, a subscribe and a 
mark on the bell and you get notification of the next video. And thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.